All right, so today I am gonna talk to you guys about getting started with the Amplify Authenticator. It's an authentication library. So who am I? Uh, I'm, my name is Eric. I'm a front-end engineer on the Amplify UI team, and by the way, we are hiring. So if you guys are a skilled view developer and looking to do something with Amplify and components, uh, hit me up. My Twitter handle is EricCH, and you may have noticed I'm also on YouTube. Um, I have a YouTube channel called Program with Eric, and I love talking to you guys, so if anybody is sees me or sees me in the hallway and, and wants to talk about programming or YouTube or anything like that, feel free to stop me. All right, so the goals of this talk today, we're gonna um, to introduce you to the Vue uh, Authenticator. We're gonna look at some use cases, how to get started, and a little bit about learning more about it. All right, so a show of hands, who here has heard of Amplify? Okay, that's good. Who, who uses it? Who uses it and just not a it? Okay, a few, a few, all right. So basically, we're a set of AWS tools for front end and mobile developers. Essentially, what we're trying to do is create tools for front end developers and to make it just super easy to use AWS services. So if you're using Lambda functions, Cognito, AppSync, and you wanna use it as a front end developer, you can use our tools. We do the provisioning. You don't have to know everything about DevOps. We have tools just kind of do it all for you as a front-end developer. So that leads to the next question of what is this authenticator thing that I'm talking about? So here it is. It's essentially a Vue 3 cloud-connected component, but we do support Vue 2 in our legacy uh, code base. It adds authentication flows, uh, and it has minimal boilerplate. So the idea being is that you would put this on your web page. You don't need to necessarily know anything about auth. Uh, you just set it up through AWS, and it kind of gives you a bunch of really cool features that you can use to add auth to your app. So a couple of them right here is multi-factor authentication. So if you're looking to, if you have the iOS Authenticator app or the Microsoft Authenticator app, you wanna make sure that they have another form of identification when they, when someone logs in, you can, you can use this multi-factor authentication, it's really easy to set up. And then a really popular feature we have is federated logins. So you can easily set up your login experience for sign in with Amazon, Apple, Facebook, Google, uh, just really just a few clicks and Obviously, you have to set up the accounts in Facebook and Google, and you can add it to your app. But that's not all. We also support sign-in with email, sign-in with phone, sign-in with username as well, of course. Uh, but you're probably thinking, like, yeah, this looks okay, but this doesn't really match the app my web app, so we definitely have a ton of customization options. So the most simplest thing is to update your themes and colors, and that's all done. It's all uh, built into the, this library that we created. Um, you can add additional sign-up fields, so let's say you want your users to make sure they check box and I agree to the terms and conditions before they can create an account, you can add that in. Uh, a lot of people want just like hiding the sign-up is like a really important feature. Like so users can sign in, but they can't sign up. One of the biggest use cases people have is they'll just put this authenticator and they'll have their whole app wrapped in it. So no one can, you can't really do anything until you log in. So this will just surround your whole application. But there are power users or users that want to have some pages that are authenticated and some that are not authenticated. And so we have this headless option. So it really gives you the ability to customize your experience um, any way you want. So you can take out this login page, you don't like it, you can add in your own specific login page, but you're still tied into the framework where you use xState in the background. Um, but you can still change pages, you can kind of do everything but create your own features. And we also have an underlying JavaScript library. So if you wanted to create your your uh, login experience completely custom, then you can use the JavaScript library. And it's all backed by Cognito, which is our authentication 
system itself. So how do you get started? So you can use your favorite uh, package manager, npm, yarn, pnpm, PM, whatever you want, and then you install the AWS Amplify UI view, which is this library that uh, it's pretty brand new. We've, well, it's been out for in about since November of last year, we rewrote it all for Vue. And then the AWS Amplify is the JavaScript library that it sits on top of. So you just need those two dependencies. And this is a, a little snippet of the code that you'll expect to, to see to create it. So you, hopefully you guys can see it from the back, but it's just a simply an authenticator component. You can also register this as a plugin instead of a, instead of importing it in. And you can see here in that second line that import AWS Amplify UI view styles. Those are specific styles to the authenticator. However, if you wanted to completely not use any of our styles, you can, and then it would just really look really ugly, but you can just kind of customize it however you like. And then you just have this authenticator component, you plop it into your view app, you can surround your whole application by it if you want, but like I said, we do have a headless mode if you want to have like multiple routes and have some authenticated and not. And then you have access to your user sign out. And then you can grab your JWT tokens after you log in so you can use that to do your authorized requests to your backend servers, to your Lambda functions or wherever else you're going. So you're probably thinking, well, how do I like install these libraries, but is that all I need to do? Well, obviously you need an AWS account. And so there is a couple of ways to do this. There's, this is a kind of a brand new product we've created in the last couple of years. It's called Amplify Studio. And it's a kind of a visual editor to add in AWS services into your, into your apps. So we have, uh, obviously authentication would be one of them. You can just go through the configuration here, add your login mechanism, add in your custom attributes, grab your, set up multi-factor authentication or not, set up federated logins or not, um, and then you basically download that. Once you have that set up, you, you're all set. But we also have other services. We have uh, storage with S3. Um, we, have a, S, we have functions with Lambda functions. We have GraphQL APIs. Uh, so this is kind of a one-stop shop instead of using, maybe you guys have used the, kind of the uglier AWS console in the past. And you can, this all, the whole ecosystem works together so once you have the services in place, you can go back and use our JavaScript library, our UI components library, and it all ties in together. So this is CLI. Uh, this is just command line interface. We have a command line tool that instead of, you didn't want to do the the studio, you can use the tool just to add off, add your Lambda functions, whatever else you want, you're looking to add. So what's next? So we support right now, uh, for our UI components library, we support React, Vue, and Angular, but we also um, are kind of a whole ecosystem with all the, all the different tools. We also support iOS, Android, Flutter, Dart, like pretty much everything. And we're completely open source. So we made this whole repository uh, last year. We made it completely open source. So we're always looking for more ideas of like what, what are some things people who are using AWS services want easier components with. And so we open sourced everything and you can create an issue today and let us know what you're looking for. And there is some resources that we have, uh, you can view our doc site. We just created a brand new doc site. We have a Discord, which we try to check daily to answer any questions. We have a lot of different channels for the whole Amplify ecosystem. And then I'll show you real quick. Here's our brand new doc site that we just created. Um, so we've been working hard on that. And you can get tons of more information if you just go connect to Components Authenticator.